Three, two, one. The world's most powerful rocket will launch NASA's Artemis program into space at the end of the month. And when it does, it will be one small step towards one giant leap. Our sights are not set on the moon. Our sights are set clearly on Mars. Trajectory nominal. But before getting there, NASA must first complete a series of increasingly complex missions, starting with Artemis 1. This is spacecraft flies around the far side of the moon. A 42-day trip around the moon that will test the capabilities of the Orion spacecraft, designed to carry humans into deep space. So we won't be flying crew, we'll be flying some mannequins and some torsos that are simulated human tissue and organs that are looking at radiation protection, radiation environment, the acceleration of the, the vehicle and how that affects the human body. If Artemis 1 is successful, Artemis 2 will attempt to orbit astronauts around the moon, including a Canadian, in 2024. Then in 2025, Artemis 3 is targeted to land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon's surface. And then it goes on. That vision thrills space lovers everywhere. That is iconic. That's, like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Showing representation and diversity, I love it. I think that the Apollo missions really sparked interest in space and astronomy for a whole generation, and I truly believe that Artemis will do that as well for, for a whole generation of kids who's gonna, who are going to watch this happen. Mission accomplished on inspiration, but there's still a lot to prove for NASA's most ambitious program yet. Artemis 1 must show that it can orbit the moon and land safely back to Earth, withstanding millions of kilometers of travel against the harsh conditions of space. Together, we are going back to the moon. Call it a moonshot that will pave the way for a future still beyond our imagination. Chris Reyes, CBC News, Toronto.